Ferenc. Thank you very much, both of you, that you are here with us today, two of our new heroes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I come in between. Now, the team gave me time for three questions. Question one, how did you fall in love with physics? My physics teacher in the primary school is responsible for that. Okay, very good. You, you see how important, you know, education is in general. What about you, Thomas? Well, I was always uh, intrigued by the uh, biochemistry and the molecular underpinnings of our functions. And I was actually debating whether I would study biochemistry or medicine. Uh, I eventually went for medicine, and, but kept it with a very strong scientific focus uh, during all my time in medicine. Okay, wonderful. Um, when you did your experiments, your studies, was there one moment where you had the feeling, wow, this is it? This is something really new? This is the breakthrough that I was, you know, looking for? Well, for me, that actually, there was a moment when we found the first mutation in this family. That was really a moment when we saw that we found it. But we didn't know really how important that was. It could have been just a very rare mutation that is only in this one family and that didn't tell us much beyond that. And that developed only over many years that we realized how important it really was. Okay. What, was there an utter second, Ferenc, where you said, that's it? Well, I didn't <laughs> feel it as a breakthrough. I, I felt uh, it uh, basically, it's kind of opening a door into a world which uh, uh, humans could not be accessed before. And I was, of course, hoping that uh, walking through this door will be interesting and exciting. Okay. And it turned out to be the case. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. You know, we have a lot of also um, younger colleagues here in the audience. You know, they, they might be interested whether there is a recipe to do something great to win the Breakthrough Prize or the Nobel Prize. Is, is there anything that you can tell them? Well, I would quote uh, someone whom I have a very high regard for, uh, um, uh, Professor Erne Rubik, uh, uh, the inventor of the Iconic Cube. Um, he said that actually uh, 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 one of the most uh, difficult challenges and, and, and uh, also most important challenges in life and in most aspects of life is to ask the right question. So I would say this is something really very important also in science. Let's try to, to find the right question. S sounds easy. Okay. <laughs> Thomas? Well, I think there are probably as many answers to this question as there are uh, areas of work and, and breakthroughs eventually. I think, at least for me, I can say one of the most important things uh, was perseverance. So, mm -hmm. find your question, but then stick to it, and stick to it even if for a long time you may think this is not going to go anywhere, as long as there's incremental progress, I think perseverance is very important. Wonderful advice for the next generation. Let's thank our two colleagues again very much for having been with us. And uh, before we go for lunch, um, I think Sebastian still has to tell something with respect to housekeeping. Sebastian, come on stage. And thank you again very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.